first of all, if we if we look at Maybe we should talk about. Can we explain what anabolic resistance yes. is? It's I yeah. think it's worth people understanding why this idea matters. Yeah, anabolic resistance. So, so our when we eat protein, right? We we're breaking down amino acids, and you know the primary amino acid that is that is anabolic is leucine, right? So these amino acids like leucine are getting into the muscle tissue, and that is instigating. It's a signal to increase muscle protein synthesis, right? So you're making more muscle. You're making more protein in your muscle, and that. In, in turn increases muscle hypertrophy, right? Um, the other major major signal to do that is mechanical force, right? So that would be the resistance training, the work, working of the muscles. So as we get older, our our muscles do become less sensitive to those amino acids, like the leucine transporter being one of the major ways, but, but I think there's others as well. And so what happens is, is that for the same amount protein dose. And this study has been done. And if you compare younger adults and older adults, 65 years age and older, you give them the same exact protein dose. The older adults are, have like, so I guess I'll, let me say it the other way. The younger adults have twice as much yeah. um, muscle protein synthesis. And for the older adults to get the same amount of muscle protein synthesis, they had to double their amount of protein to get the same amount of muscle protein synthesis as the younger adults. That's a lot. They had to double that amount of protein. Okay. So um, and that's because, again, you need, it's just your, your muscle tissue is not as sensitive to the amino acids. And so to get more of them in, you have to increase your intake of the protein. Um, now, to your point about physical activity being the major driver here, it's I think that's 100%. I agree. I think it's totally true. Luke Van Loon's study being one, but also older adults that do engage in resistance training have the same anabolic response to the same amount of protein as younger adults. So in other words... The activity makes up for it. It does. Yep. You don't have to, as you're aging, as you be, if you're a 65, 70-year-old male listening to this episode and you're engaging resistance training, you're likely not experiencing much anabolic resistance, maybe a little, but not much. And so you don't necessarily have to experience it if you are physically active and training. And that's really the bottom line here. That's the most important thing. If there's a public health, health message, you know, in this episode, it really is you should be training.